Hello, I'm Tina from Bio102XY and I'm here to report my current favorite algae, Padaina pavonica or commonly known as the peacock tail. To commence, let's look into the hierarchical classification of these species. This algae is from Kingdom Chromesta under Phylum Ocrophyta. Class is Phaeophyceae, which makes Padaina pavonica a brown algae, order Dictyotales, and under the family Dictyotaceae. With this, Genus Padaina is closely related to other genera, including Dictyopteris, Dictyota, and Spatomusu. Here is a comprehensive phylogenetic tree of brown algae based on nRNA genes, wherein it was shown that Dictyotales diverged first. And representatives of the Dictyotales, Spacellarialis, Desmarestialis, and the Ectocarpales formed well supported monophyletic groups. Zooming into family Dictyotaceae, in these images, we can observe that although these closely related genera exhibit a degree of resemblance, Padaina is distinctly unique due to its fan shaped fronds. It is very unlikely to have them confused with other genera given this unique morphology. Here we can see the typical morphology of the talus of Padaina species with its fan shaped blade or fronds, its type, and hold fast. Actually, the distinct morphology of Padaina is one of the primary reasons I picked this species. They are very easy to recognize, and in a taxonomic course, this is a convenient opportunity. For the next minutes, I'll be providing more reasons on why Padaina pavonica is such an interesting algae. But first, let's look into the identifying features of this species as well as its distribution. Padaina pavonica is a brown macroalgae that can be found in warm temperate to tropical shores. It has been identified in North as Atlantic European coast, South Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans, and the Mediterranean. Though considered ubiquitous, I'm not sure if it has been reported here in the Philippines. In terms of morphology, as a padaina, it has a distinct fan shape or peacock feather shaped fronts, but at the species level, it can be delineated from other padaina species by the following characteristics. Primarily, padaina species are identified based on the thickness of the blade and the distances between concentric zones. For the case of padaina pavonica, the concentric horizontal lines formed by small dark hairs are in equal distances up to 6 mm apart. In terms of blade thickness, padaina pavonica has a thickness of 60 to 70 micrometers or approximately 2 cell layers in its apical region. The basal region, on the other hand, consists of approximately 3 to 4 cell layers. Its type is considered short, measuring 5 mm long and 0.33 mm wide. Other identifying features include entire to lobe margin of the blade. Generally, the younger fronts have entire margin, but they become lobed as they age. The diameter of each blade is approximately 10 cm, whilst the height can reach up to 10 cm during summertime. At winter, they are very small or they don't grow at all. As a padina, these species also contain calcium carbonate precipitate in the form of needle-shaped aragonite crystals. These deposits, aside from conferring rigidity to the algae, determine the whitish to yellowish color of the species. In addition, the apical tip of the blade is enrolled. In this image highlighted, you can see enrolled apical margin of the talus under axio microscopy. Padaina as a genus is very interesting and they have been subjects of researches that tackle antimicrobial, insecticidal, anti antioxidant activities and such. They also have applications in the agriculture and padaina species have a role as biological indicator by which they are important for the management of coastal marine ecosystems. Padaina pavonica is a pretty famous padaina species. They are utilized in cosmetic materials, and the first encounter I had with this species is on some skincare products wherein it was used as a natural ingredient. Apparently, there have been studies to suggest that they can preserve the skin's collagen by inhibiting the activity of hyaluronidase. Moreover, it is associated with antimicrobial activities. Other medical applications that have been associated with Padaina pavonica is their um, anti-cancer effects primarily by inducing apoptosis of cancer cells. Aside from the medical uses, Padaina pavonica is an environmentally important algae. In addition to its bioindicator role, Padaina pavonica is heavily associated with biometal bioabsorption and it has been extensively used as a fed stock for the production of biodiesel. Padaina pavonica has been well studied since the last century. 
But aside from its reported industrial, medical, and environmental applications, it has an intrinsic value that makes it an interesting species. For me, at least, it has a beautiful and unique design that makes them deserving of their own display.